In Lost Ark, we've got Light of Salvation, Kazaros Legion Commanders, LWC, MOS, Deep Dive, You Have a Plan, and now one more. I may be one of the last folks out there to know about this set, but I'm making this video in hopes that those uninformed like me and have access can get around a 22% damage increase in Guardian Raids, which will be quite sizable for some. Let's get into it. When a new player hops into Lost Ark, they are peppered with many of the game's systems that seem overwhelming at the start. Card's importance is forced upon them pretty quickly as it becomes a large reason why they cannot get into lobbies. This video has a dual purpose behind it. One, show those unaware of the damage boost that they could be getting, and two, show those who are running these Guardian Raids that it is a set that is in fact not a troll and is viable. So let us in. This video is about three different card sets that, when combined, will net around a 22% damage gain. These sets being three Umar's family, a voice calls, and Platinus people. Unfortunately, if you're a Hitmaster class, these damage increases won't be viable for your character, but I would imagine everyone here has at least one entropy class in their roster. For the back attack variation, it is a mix of the Umar families and a voice calls, while the front attack variation for all you breakers is Platinas and a voice calls. Both get 10% overall increase for guardian raids in general, but then have a 12% specifically for front and back attacks respectively. On average, people are running LOS 18 or 30 in these Guardian Rage, which is netting an additional 7 to 15% based on which set. This is a little different for Sunavel though. Sunavel has a weakness to dark damage, which makes the KLC set priority in that raid, since it gets an additional 7 to 8% as well based on the awakening of the set. But because all damage is converted to dark, you get an additional 10% just from the 12 set. For that reason, to my understanding, KLC 30 is still best in slot for Sunavel, whereas these cards sets are best in slot for all guardians that don't have a weakness to holy or dark damage, which is a majority of our current raids, besides Sunavel, of course. But when comparing to KLC 18, this should still do more, uh, but who knows, likely someone will bring up the multiplicative damage and the MOS card set, but that's my current understanding. Now, similar to my card collections video, LOS is priority. Save those selectors for what truly matters overall. But these Varkan and Vagris cards that you are seeing basically popping up every other day at the Wandering Merchant have a little bit more purpose than you thought they may have. So keep an eye out for them. Additionally, I know everyone rolls Galater and Weekend Kekul when they open Legendaries. So if you have an abundance or have it filled, it isn't the worst thing anymore. Obviously, the front attack one is easier to attain based on the Wandering Merchant. So Asuras are up big, big. I wanted to keep this video relatively short to just get that info out there for those in a similar boat to myself. Check out my previous video that details the huge benefits of the server transfer tickets coming to Lost Ark, especially for new or returning players. Or check out my bonus damage from card collections video if you're on a path learning about cards in the game. I make videos primarily for new and returning players to Lost Ark, so check out my playlist for something that might be more tailored for you and your experience. Check out my next video that is a little less formal and formulaic as I go over my review of playing King Fist Breaker after one month. See you then.